What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 28 of going from $100 all the way up to $100,000. Now in this episode, I'm going to let you know what's going on with a bunch of our inventory because a lot of it has moved in a sense and I'm gonna go into detail about that at the end of the video it's some very very exciting news that's gonna be happening in the near future in about a month's time so I'm already super excited for that also we have some packages that are gonna be coming that I bought online from like Nike some other places that had some quick restocks those should be coming in today and throughout the episode two of them already came in I, I opened them up by accident already. my fault guys but I'll show you guys that after we hit up some malls our balance is a little low right now we are currently at eight thousand a hundred and forty seven dollars and four cents a little bit lower than what I would like but we got so much inventory and between now and a month's time, I know a bunch of our inventory is going to sell. Now with all that being said, I'm really excited for this episode. Not only to hopefully pick up some new stuff at some stores, but to also tell you guys what's been going on and what we're going to be doing with a bunch of our inventory. Yeah, with that being said, let's quickly go hit up some malls right now. Pray we got some good stuff. And yeah, let's go see right now. Okay, you know how it goes. Starting at Champs, let's see if we can find anything. And they got some Nike Dunk High and Lows crazy finds so there. You know we're picking these up. Then going to Foot Locker, bro. I don't know about these sixes. Comment down below, letting me know like what is going on with this tag, bro. I swear none of the sixes I bought had these, but like, bro, I don't know. These are kind of like foo foo or something. I don't even know. But comment down below. They had some grade school as well. Then to another Champs location, really didn't have much. As you can see, just a bunch of bricks. The 12s there were too small of a size, so they wouldn't sell. And then I don't even know what these J's are, but just a bunch of bricks, honestly. Back in the day, man, these would have sold for so much. Ah, okay, we are back, and like you guys saw, decent stuff this time. Let's start off with these UNCs. Now we picked up a size 12 and a size 11. The best Jordan 6s in my opinion. Love this colorway. And I have a bunch of questions I'm going to have to ask you guys at the end of the video, which are probably going to include these and a good amount of our shoes, not going to lie. But picked up these, a size 11 and a size 12. Again, now for these, I'm probably just going to go for like the bigger sizes like I was doing for those playoffs. Because the smaller sizes for me, they're not going to sell as well. But bigger sizes, they always sell really good and decently fast. So we got two pairs as well as their grade school 6Y. Now I haven't really done any comparison to these, but I would assume quality is probably worse on a grade school, not going to lie. Let me know in the comments below if you guys got a personal pair of these. Like I said last episode, I did. I I love this colorway. First pair of 6s that I got, the UNC colorway on any Jordan majority of the time just are so clean but yeah those weren't the only jordans we picked up we also got a size nine and a half and 12 in these jordan one mid armored navy you've seen these before we had like three pairs of these already we only have the 13 left and now that we have these we have three more total probably gonna sell decently quick for us i would assume so and then some even more jordans these were the last ones they had a jordan one low in those barcelonas that you saw they're the last pair that they had. They were on display. For some reason, I don't know. I don't know why we didn't record them, but it's this blue patent leather with that crazy, crazy inside. These are gonna sell by the end of the episode. I'm gonna guarantee that. But we got those ones. Lots of Jordan today is what I noticed, but can't complain about that. And then we're moving on to some even more crazy stuff. We got a grade school of 5Y and some Nike Dunk High electric purple midnight navy colorway the last one that they had honestly such a clean shoe right here the purple on these just hit different kind of wish they had you know some extra laces because i think extra laces would look really good on here maybe like a white pair of extra laces I'm not a big fan of these purple laces but we got these ones crazy again just crazy finds today i'm i think we lucked out today we got a lot of just really good stuff that just sells so easy for us then we got some more nike dunks a six and five y and these nike dunk low white and pink again there's a super clean dunk here and yeah the resale on these are are way lower than what i expected we're not going to be selling them right away that's going to go into the end of the video what i have to tell you guys but yeah some nike dunks and it doesn't end there because we also got 
some stuff from Nike and I forget the other website it was called, but they had some restocks. We got a nine and a half and an eight in these Air Force One low skeleton, the purple colorway, clean shoe, terrible time to release them. The resale is really bad for them right now just because it's April. No one, no one wants a skeleton shoe in April, but again, these are going to have to wait till the end of the episode so I can explain to you my master plan for all of these. But that's not all we have. We also got this big box that came from Nike and we got two shoes in there as you can see. Some women's Jordan 1 Lowe's. We got a seven and a half and an eight and a half and a really basic all white Jordan 1 Low. I'm pretty sure these are only 135 bucks and these are going to sell really fast for us. The resale and these are decent. I might pick up some more of these, not gonna lie. So I think these are like a big sleeper right now. But I'm not 100% sure. I still have a lot of things I need to think about. Plus, of what's gonna be going on in a month. I can't wait to talk to you guys about that, but we're gonna do that at the end of the episode. Like I keep saying, I'm just really excited to tell you guys about it. I'm sure you guys are tired of me saying this, but trust, at the end of the episode, it's gonna be worth it. And I'm gonna need your guys' opinion on what I should do. The only thing we can do now is hit up some more stores, pray we can have as good as luck as we did today. There's only one way to find out, and that is going to the store tomorrow. And yeah, let's go right now. Okay, you know how it goes, starting at Champs. And they just got in some of these Jordan 5 Jade Horizons. However, resale is not there for them. Then at Foot Locker, they had these. These are actually not supposed to come out yet. The Nike PG6 All-Star Weekend 2022. Those actually weren't supposed to come out yet, but they had them on there by accident. Moving on to Champs, more dunks. They had some big sizes, so we picked those up. And then these Marina Blues just sitting. Then they also had a bunch of Nike Pressos for a hundred bucks. So you know we picked some of those up. Okay, we are back and honestly, probably one of the better days we had. Not a bunch of like crazy heat, but just a bunch of volume that I think is gonna move really good for us. As you can see, there's a couple shoes right here. Let's start off with one of the crazier pairs. If you know, you know what this pair is. Crazy box. Definitely one of the better Pumas that have come out. The Puma MB1 Queen City. Honestly, like I said, one of the better Pumas that have come out. These have gone crazy. There's a bunch of other colorways. Not gonna lie, I saw the gray colorway of these sitting before. I should have grabbed them. I don't know why I didn't grab them. I must have just overlooked them, but I remember seeing them and then re-watching it. Like, damn, how did I forget those? But we got a size five, decent size in my opinion. But there's a lot of questions I have that I'm not too sure about right now that I'm gonna ask you guys at the end of the video, which is probably gonna involve these shoes, not gonna lie. And yeah, crazy pair, I love the box. The box is just so cool. As you can see, just crazy designs everywhere. Next up, we got two more pairs, both of them a 7Y and these Nike Dunks we picked up the other day. The white and pink, really nothing too crazy about them. Picked up two more pairs, just higher sizes. Honestly, if they have more of these in the bigger sizes, next time we go, definitely gonna pick them up. Just cause they're Nike Dunks, super clean colorway, and they're gonna sell good for us. Honestly, that's just the main thing. Like I said, we got two pairs of them, two seven Ys. Then like you guys saw, there were some Nike Prestos that were $9.99. Decent price, honestly, I can quick flip them. We got this one, a size 12 in this orange colorway, but for 99 bucks, like 100, 105 bucks, that's how much it is with tax. Decent profit can be made with these. So picked up just a size 12 in these orange ones. However, in this all white pair, I got a size 10, 11, 12, and a 13. Just because the all white one these ones are gonna move really easy for us. I already know, it's just a cleaner colorway. Kinda wish the white was a little bit more white, you know, other than like, it looks like a dirty white, if that makes sense. Probably the best pickup of the day, a six and a half and a six Y in the Jordan 1 mid diamond short. So happy we found some grade school of these finally. 
like I said, we're doing, we're holding on to these. We have, already have men's sizes. Just wish I could have found some more grade school because the grade school is where the money is at, to be honest. So hopefully more locations can get these so I can just pick up a lot of pairs. We're going to quickly hit the malls one last time. This episode, I feel like have been crazy good. Got a lot of good stuff. But now I just have to wait till we go to the mall one more time, get some shoes, and then I'm going to explain to you what I've been holding in this whole episode. I really can't wait to tell you guys and hear your opinion on it. Hopefully you guys will leave me a comment, tell me your opinions on it, but let's quickly fast forward to tomorrow and go hit up some new stores and see if they got some new restocks. Okay, champs again, let's see if we can find anything. And bruh, if these released a couple years ago, these would have been sold for so much money. They still have these fives here just sitting. Like I said, no really good resale value. But they had some Air Max Pluses on sale for $169. They had these running club ones and then this blue and black colorway. So picked a couple of these up as well as these New Balances. I love this colorway. It's kind of like an Easter egg vibe. Then at Foot Locker, someone returned these Air Force One white and orange. So I picked them up. Then at Champs, same thing as before. <laughs> really nothing. Kind of disappointing. Uh, okay, we are back and honestly, I think we did extremely good on this episode Not gonna lie a lot of good stuff that we picked up a lot of stuff on sale that I think is gonna move really quickly for us Let's start off with this one You guys didn't see me pick this up because this was actually the last thing from my Nike order paid hundred and fifty two dollars and seventy cents and they're probably one of the better loads that have come out and it is these ones the Jordan one low bread toes I did have a couple of these but I already sold them beforehand. Like you know if you've been watching this series, we've had probably like five pairs of these, but we sold them for a really good profit. However, this pair, not only we're gonna be selling it, we're gonna hold on to it. And I'll explain to you exactly why we're gonna be doing that once I go over all these shoes. I'm really excited to explain to you guys. But we got that, a size nine and a half. At Foot Locker, someone returned this pair, a size 11. Have no idea why they would return this, honestly but they returned one of these Air Force Ones in the white and orange. Honestly, one of my favorite colorways for the Air Force Ones. Again, don't think we're gonna be selling this one. I think we're gonna hold on to it as well. We have this 11 now and one more size nine and a half. The rest we have sold. Kind of regret it, not gonna lie, I wish I held on to them. Hopefully we can find some more stores that restock these so I can pick them up. Then we got this triple white Air Max Plus Premium. It's a women's size six and a half. Honestly, I think these are gonna move for us really good too, just because we got them on a decent price. They're on sale for 136 bucks. I think it was 129.99, but with tax, it came out to 136.49. Really, really clean colorway here. They only had two pairs left. However, I just decided to get this six and a half. And that's not the only Air Max Pluses that we got. We got a lot more. It was on sale for a good price, so we picked up some more. We got some men pairs in this midnight navy black colorway here they are i'm not 100 sure if these have been on the channel yet but we got so many pairs of these air max pluses have moved really well for us so i picked up a honestly i picked up a lot of pairs today we got a size eight eight and a half nine nine and a half ten and a ten and a half in this colorway honestly i think these are gonna move really quickly for us I don't see them taking very long to sell. But also for 178 bucks, we also got these ones. These ones we got in a size nine, nine and a half, 10 and 10 and a half. You've seen them before. It's the Air Max Plus Running Club. Definitely have been on this channel before. I remember this one. Again, same thing, they're on sale. So I picked up a good amount of them. Only four, for some reason, this one I can only do two. So I got two and my wife got two. We got some new balances in a women colorway we got a size six and a half seven seven and a half and an eight but the seven and a half have already sold and it's in this colorway honestly it's kind of like an easter colorway that's the vibe i get from it probably one of the nicer colorways that new balance has for this model at least i think these are also going to move really good for us got them on sale for 59.99 they're around 63 bucks, including tax. And yeah, that's what we picked up today. Honestly, really, really good stuff. I'm really happy with how this week went. And now for the news of what I've been pretty much teasing you guys for the last two episodes. On May 14th, I am going to be a vendor at the 10th year anniversary of Sneaker Swap from YYC Soldiers. I'm so excited. It's going to be my very first one going there. And 
your boy's gonna be there. He's gonna have his little booth set up. So hopefully, if you guys are watching, come show some love. If there's stuff in this inventory that you guys like and you wanna purchase, they will most likely be at that event. Now, I'm gonna leave all of the information down below in the description. You know, hopefully I meet a lot of you guys there. If, if you do go there, come say hi to me. You'll find my booth. It'll be the best one there. Come say what up. I know a lot of you have been watching. I've been seeing the views go up on these videos. Like, I swear, first we started with just a couple people watching. And now some of these videos break over 100 views. So hopefully I can meet some of you guys there, put some faces to the viewers that would be great and like i've been saying a lot of our stuff is gonna be on hold till then i'm gonna go over everything that we're gonna for sure hold for the event so yeah i'm gonna start with everything we're gonna bring to the event that we're gonna put on hold for now we're not gonna have it in the background we're not even gonna mention it at the end of the video for now on because they're gonna be on hold just like for example our investment those i also don't put it at the end of the video but to start off we're gonna bring these 11 and nine and a half of the air force one white and orange we're bringing these to the event and if i can find some more i'm gonna bring just because this colorway is so clean very underrated in my opinion and we paid like 126 bucks for them so we're definitely gonna try and buy some more of these and bring to the event that's why i said i low-key regret selling the pairs i did because i sold them and then pretty much the next day i found out you know i'm gonna be a vendor there so kind of sad but it is what it is there's a few shoes that i looking back on i wish i kept it just because just because knowing now that i'm gonna be like a part of this and i'm gonna have my own booth and i could set up my shoes there i kind of regret it but it is what it is at the end of the day moving on we're also gonna bring these nine and a half that we just picked up today of the jordan one low bread how can i go wrong and not bring these there's no reason i shouldn't bring them so we're gonna be holding on to these and bring them to the event next the jordan 11 unc win like 82 definitely gonna be bringing these ones ds and everything we paid off 350 for them i think we can sell them pretty well at the event gonna be bringing these ones with us and then the seven and a half in the jordan one high defiant nyc to paris a really great sneaker that i think i'm just gonna bring next the size 11 in the jordan one dark mochas how can you go wrong with these pretty much i'm just thinking of like hype stuff that i should bring that i have and stuff that like people will want to buy you know then the size eight and nine and a half of these air force one purple halloween not gonna lie don't have big hopes for these ones selling at the event but might as well bring them i think that's the best i think that's one of our better bets of bringing these to the event to sell then the nike dunk highs we just picked up the electric purple a 5y bringing these to the event both of these nike dunk lows that we picked up not too long ago it's like the recycled material one the blue and mint green colorway and then the nike dunk lows that we just picked up we got two size seven wides a six y and this five y of the white and pink really honestly it's just a really clean and nice colorway plus i think in like the month from now until the event they're gonna go up a little bit so that's an that's another reason why i think i'm gonna be bringing these ones the size nine and a half and eight and a half of the air force one space jams definitely gonna have to be bringing these ones because again a really nice shoe probably gonna sell decently well for us there and yeah that is everything that i'm 100 taking and then i'm gonna take out of our inventory you know the event is until another month we have until then to fully finalize i know a bunch of you guys are gonna be saying like why aren't you for sure taking the diors with you i plan on taking the diors it's just that if someone gives me an offer right now for the price i'm looking for i'm taking it but if it doesn't sell till then definitely bring in the diors like how could you not bring the Dior's? Once the event does come, I will most likely bring everything from the inventory that I haven't sold. But like I said, this is just the stuff that's for sure coming with us right now. Let me know if there's anything else I should bring. If there's something in the inventory that you guys are like, I need 100% save those for the event, let me know. We did sell a good amount of shoes this episode. So for the Jordan 5 Racer Blues, we sold all three of the size 13. And then for the women's Jordan 1 Lows, the Triple Whites, we sold both of the size 7.5 and, and 8 that just came in. We sold the last of the Jordan 12 Playoffs in the 12C. And we sold the size 6Y, 12, 11 and a half and two 11s in the jordan 6 unc's the size nine and a half in the jordan one mid navy 
the black and white Air Force One low in the size 10 and a seven and a half in these New Balance 327 dark violet summer jade that's the colorway and yeah it's not a lot of stuff that we sold but the stuff that we did sell sold for a good amount of money so hopefully that boosts us up because we did spend a good amount of money on all the stuff we picked up today and yeah now let's go into our inventory of what we still have we're not going to include the stuff that i just mentioned that's going to be on hold for the event but for stuff that we are still currently selling we have a size 12 in the jordan 1 low barcelona colorway a size 5Y in the Puma MB1 Queen of the City. A size 13 and 12 in the Jordan 1 Mid Navy colorway. Size 9 in the Jordan 11 Cool Grays. Size 8.5 in the Jordan 6 UNC. Size 10.5 in the Jordan 1 Low University Gold. Size 8 in the Jordan 3 Red Cardinals. Size 11 in the Jordan 3 NYX colorway. A size 11 in the Air Force 1 Low Triple Red colorway. Size 10 in the Air Max 90 Athletic Club. A size 12 and a half in the LeBron Witness 5 Lakers colorway. A size 10, 11, 12, 13 in the Nike Air Prestos white pure platinum colorway a size 12 in the nike air presto orange colorway a size 10 in the air max torch 3 black colorway a size 10 in the nike air max plus wolf gray colorway a size six and a half y in the nike air max plus triple white colorway a size 10 10 and a half nine and a half nine in the air max plus se the air max running club colorway a size eight eight and a half nine nine and a half ten and ten and a half in the air max plus midnight navy white colorway a size six and a half seven and eight women's in the new balance 327 dark violet summer jade colorway and of course last but not least a size 10 in the jordan one high dior's so yeah that is everything that we have a lot of stuff in our inventory not gonna lie but honestly i just can't wait for the event i'm so excited for that event you have no idea i'm hoping to see you guys then but Let's see, did we break through that $10,000 mark or are we still a little bit below? Honestly, I have no idea because we did sell a good amount of shoes. But we also bought a good amount of shoes too. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching till the end of the video and let's roll our brand new tally right now.